welcome to another episode of Metropolis After Hours, episode seven. Today, we are the B-listers here at the store. <laughs> we're gonna be taking over the show today. I'm Christina. I'm Glenn. I'm Travis. Well, today we're gonna be talking about... Uh, Blackest Night. Blackest Night. Everyone knows of the story by Jeff Johns coming out. It's been an epic story so far by DC, like years and years in planning. Uh, everyone's familiar with uh, Green Lantern. You've always had Hal Jordan, Kyle Rayner, John Stewart, a bunch of different guys basically donning these powerful rings, most powerful weapon in the universe, going around being space cops, basically. Space so, cops. oh yeah, the, the good kind, you know, so <laughs> not, not the not cops all we're all them, used right? to. All Green Lanterns are good, actually. They I mean, all, not, not, green, I mean, I was thinking about the red and oh, yeah, the well, evil, not, yeah, not when green we, We're about to go into all the colors of, like, red lanterns and blue, but that's why everyone knows the Green Lanterns, right? And they're basically the good guys, you know, the whole <clears> has the ability to overcome great fear, the willpower and everything to that. Well, in the current story of Blackest Night, there's been all this stuff going on where these new colors have been, like, introduced. So we have, like, all this epic stuff happening, like, bam! There's, like, all these different Green Lanterns coming out to fight, basically, against these black lanterns and they're all trying to destroy everyone they're like all about death and all that but and you've got red blue pink purple orange yellow and they all represent different emotions that apparently all aliens share <laughs> of love hate willpower hope fear Avarice, greed whatever yeah that was. Mm -hmm. i don't That's even know great. what that means yeah greed <laughs> oh, okay, <fair laughs> they, they say the fancy word <laughs> So, yeah, all this stuff is happening in uh, Black Side. Now, again, most of you watching are already familiar with the story going on. But uh, number seven just came out about a little over a month ago. Number eight comes out this Wednesday. So a little bit of a spoiler alert is that they're introducing... Wait, wait for it, wait like, for it. Uh, drum, drum roll, please. Okay, what? White Lanterns! <gasps> Woo! Yay! So. <laughs> and that means a new ring. Yep. That makes me excited. Exactly. They've released different rings and things before, too. They're going to have white rings soon. Uh, and right after Blackest Night ends, uh, number eight again comes out this Wednesday, so come check that out. The aftermath is going to be called a story called Brightest Day, which will be all about the DC Universe and what's going on with the aftermath and the repercussions of, you know, death. Sounds Trying very optimistic. Come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I know that there in a previous episode they talk about kick ass, but I'm here to reiterate that you must read this book. The movie's coming back, uh, coming out April 16th. Oh yeah. And I just picked it up, and it's really, really amazing. And we do have a few single issues here, and I'm pretty sure that these are going to become a hot ticket once the mm -hmm. movie comes out because I, I was reading this book and it's really great. I mean, it's it's really gory. It doesn't pretend to be realistic at all, even though it's supposed to be about a real kid stepping into, you know, a superhero realm. And like looks our like world. like this but... guy too. Like, oh yeah, it looks like exactly, let me see if I can find a picture. He's, a, he's our celebrity here at the store. He's kick-ass. Yeah, come <laughs> in, pick up a hardcover, or you can try to snag like, uh, single issues. They're, I'm pretty sure that they're not gonna be around for much longer. So, Travis. I, um, so I'm talking about Deadpool and all the uh, Deadpool variants. I love Deadpool. It's a great book. It's pretty funny. Um, my problem is the uh, overabundance with all the Deadpool variants. He's showing up in every book. Uh, I think it's like a 1 in 15 variant. Is it variant? Is but, it? Yeah, usually about 1 in 15. So for every like 15 regular covers of something that exists, like maybe Uncanny X-Men or Wolverine, something completely unrelated to Deadpool, you've got one variant with Deadpool for those 15 that exist. But I have to disagree a little bit on one thing because they're funny as hell. I mean, we got the, like the Magneto. covers are funny. It's okay. just they're just throwing it out everywhere, and it's what they're they're just pretty much doing what they did with Venom in the '90s. Deadpool's a funny character now. When you have stuff like this, the regular covers, Magneto doing his little chi thing, you know, like Zen and all that stuff, because he's like that. I don't know. Deadpool's like my chi's bigger than yours. That's kind of funny. So it's kind of like. <laughs> but it's just they throw him in every single. There's a variant of every book with him, and it's just really annoying. It's like this really long running joke that. Yeah, because like, the book is funny. This has what five books now? Has Deadpool, oh, about yeah. Deadpool has there's <laughs> Deadpool, Mark with the Mouth, um, Prelude Suicide to King, uh, pre, yeah, Prelude Suicide to Deadpool games. Core, <clears throat> and then like, Deadpool Team Up, the regular De yeah. Deadpool. So yeah, there's, there, there's, there are, a, there's yeah. a lot of books, and it's like I don't mind maybe two or three, but it's just they're doing too much with this, and it's yeah, I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah, in, in regards to the actual story, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, there are Deadpool books that are better than others. Now, one thing to look for is, like, who's writing it. I mean, the main guy that started um, writing Deadpool, I think it was Benson. I, I can't remember. I, maybe Mike or something? We'll have to edit this later and put in the real name. <laughs> but that was stuff that really took off. It was related to the Secret Invasion story, and that was really funny. Now, who's writing it is really the key. So you might want to even look for him if... If you have the budget that you want to look for more funny stuff because there's simply not enough Deadpool for you, <laughs> then you might want to follow that writer, see what other characters he's done. Because if he's writing a humorous book, chances are you're going to like it just as much as Deadpool. Oh. Now, yeah, they've done the overabundance. 
So there, there's a lot to follow, and yeah, he, again, Marvel's kind of... He's a really funny character. He breaks the fourth wall. He knows he's in a comic book. My favorite one was when he teamed up with uh, Punisher, and he just shoots the guy and says, Punisher gets mad. He goes, what? It's my own comic book. Um, <laughs> but... Oh. So if say. you're if you're a fan of Deadpool, now is a really good time to get into him. Oh, or if you're looking for a new character you want to check out, there's plenty of Deadpool going on right now. So you want to? There's also check a movie out? coming up. Yes, Ryan. Ah, uh, and they're actually putting him in the costume. They're doing him right, no Baraka. So. Oh, and speaking of that, because Ryan Reynolds, he is also going to be Green Lantern oh, whenever that movie comes out. Yay. So kind of funny, you know, because he'll be a Marvel character, he'll be a DC character. Look around on YouTube since you're I on here. There's all kinds of funny Marvel versus DC videos you can find I too. I like how they're just reusing mm -hmm. character, like actors from like this pool exactly. that they have. Because what we just learned recently, I don't know if it's been mentioned yet, but okay. Chris Evans, who mm -hmm. was Human Torch in both Fantastic Four movies, is now Captain. slated to be Captain America. So kind of a good change as long as they give him blonde hair, but I'm really hoping, I so hope that they do a blooper or something at the end of the scene where, you know, he comes up with his Captain America shield about to fight someone and flame on, and then he bursts into flame. That'd be awesome. I know they won't do it, but it'd be awesome. <laughs> it'd be cool, though, and you'll know it. <laughs> There's a four in the shield. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that it? I think that's about it. Alright, so, well, uh, so come to the store and visit us and say hi. Mm -hmm. We're the B-listers, signing off. Bye.